Hi there, I'm Maddie the Hippie Hacker and today we're going to take a first look at the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. So when you open the box you get all the normal goodies of when you buy a Galaxy phone. You get the phone, a startup guide, and a USB-C cable. This phone comes out February 25th here in the US, and it is the mid-grade phone in the S22 series. There's the S22, which is the standard Galaxy phone. Then you have the S22 Plus, and then there's the S22 Ultra. The S22 Plus is priced at $999 for 128 gigabytes, and $1049 for 256 gigabytes. This phone comes in four colors, phantom black, phantom white, green, and the one we're looking at today, pink gold. The phone uses Corning's Gorilla Glass thickness on both the front and back of the phone. And the glass gives it an overall premium feel as compared to the previous generation. The edge of the phone is made from armor aluminum and it's IP68 water and dust resistant. The S22 Plus has all of the specs of the standard S22, such as a peak brightness of 1750 nits in direct sunlight, the refresh rate has a max of 120 hertz, and it has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. But with that, there's also a few upgrades. Its Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED screen is half an inch larger in comparison to the standard S22. It has a larger 4500 milliamp battery to support 45 watt fast charging, and it's ultra wide band capable. For the back camera system, it has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 50 megapixel f1.8 wide angle camera, and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with three times optical zoom that allows you to zoom up to 30 times space. With those camera specs, Samsung also coupled in some new camera features. Nightography, their night mode, has been improved overall. Here's a photo I took in the dark without nightography. And here's a photo using nightography. Need I say more? Portrait images can now detect and separate single strands of hair from the background. For me, this was the biggest deterrent in using the portrait mode feature in the past. I didn't like how it made photos look blatantly obvious that they were taken in portrait mode as compared to using a photography camera. So with this improvement, you can say I'm more than happy to now get away with using just my phone instead of pulling out my whole camera system. In terms of software, Samsung has announced that they are going to be rolling out Android updates for all of their more recent phones for the next four years. This is amazing because as compared to Samsung's competitors, not all of them can actively say that they are going to be committing to another four years or even committing to three years or so on and so on for Android updates. And with One UI, the list of features bundled into this phone really allow you to dial in with personalization to ensure that you can optimize your phone to its greatest potential. Well, this was the first look at the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. In my opinion, Samsung did a fabulous job on their mid-grade phone. And I definitely think the S22 Plus is worth the extra money as compared to the standard edition S22. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech content. I'm Maddie the Hippie Hacker and I will see you all next time. Bye!